Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Kristen with This Messy Lovely Life, and today I'm gonna be bringing you a video about our Latin curriculum. So I absolutely love this Latin program. So the book is called Getting Started with Latin, and I showed it during my curriculum video that I had done, but I just wanted to do a specific video showing you how we do Latin each day. And um, I'm sure that everybody who uses the curriculum does it a slightly different way, but this is how we do it. And um, fourth grade is when Charlotte Mason's style of education encourages to start Latin, and um, I wasn't sure if we were gonna be able to swing it this year, but we did. And I got the book and I thought, you know what? We're just gonna give it a try. And it only takes five to 10 minutes a day. We love it. We're learning a ton because I didn't know any Latin. So Larson's learning Latin, I'm learning Latin, and we're having a lot of fun. So let me give you a peek at how we do Latin every day. Okay, so we're just gonna get started and we use some flashcards where we write down every day's uh, new word uh, that we're practicing in Latin and then Larson and I quiz each other. Today I'm going to quiz him and let him show you all the great Latin words that he has learned so far. Sunt. 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 They are. They are. Est. He is. Good. Agricoli. Farmer. Good. And it's agricoli, which is farmers. Boitai. Poets. Excellent. Ego. I. Poeta, poet. Good work. Et. And. And. Or uh, Estes, y'all. Y'all. <laughs> you are all. It's like you are the plural form, so we call it y'all. S. You are. Good. Sumus. We are. Very good. Yep, we are. Specto. Specto? I, while watching. Yes. I do watch. I watch. I'm watching. Good. All right, so here is the book that we're going to use now that we have finished reviewing our flashcards. This is called Getting Started with Latin, Beginning Latin for Homeschoolers and Self-Taught Students of Any Age uh, by William E. Linney. Now, I wanted to open this up and show you in the directions page. Let's see if I can find it. Oh, right here. Okay, so it tells you in here that you can actually go to www.gettingstartedwithlatin.com and there are MP3s for every lesson. So it's wonderful. So when we start the lessons, I just open up my phone, we listen to the pronunciation of the new word, and let's flip to today's lesson. So we are on 26, I believe. Nope, we're on 27. So today's lesson 27, and they would have 27, they would read the new word, which is Luna, moon, then I would read this section right here, and then we would read the exercises with them, and they pronounce all of the exercises. Now, Larson wants to read today's specially because he really likes this word. So how do you pronounce that word? L Luna. And it means what? Luna means moon. Good. And normally, what would we do with that word? Where would we put it? We would, we would put it... We, we, we would put it in, in our flashcard box. Right. But, but actually... I might have ran out of cards. We ran out of cards. So we're going to have to go pick up some more 3 by 5 cards to add our new list. But here's the exercises. And what we do then is we take this book, we open it up, we try not to waste paper, so we split it between the two. And I only have him do half of them because sometimes it can be, um, you know, it's a lot, a lot of work and a lot of writing and we don't want this to be a long activity that's strenuous and draining. So what we do is he picks either to do the odd or the even. So last time he picked even for lesson 26 where we learned about Stella. And then today, Larson, do you want to do odd or even? Maybe I want to do uh, even. No, no, odd, odd, odd. Odd. Okay, today odd. And what are you drinking there? What's up? Got some chocolate milk, some liquid energy. Actually, it's actually it's not sugar, but but you can buy it at the store. It's actually healthy. It is healthy. There is sugar in there, but it is yummy, huh? It's like an extra meal in a cup almost. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and. Okay, so here we go. Number one says lunam specto. So you know specto means watch, right? I am watching. And what is lunam? Uh, uh, Luna means Luna receiving the Luna receiving the action. Okay, and is it one or more than one? one. So that would mean I am watching one moon. The moon. Good. Moon. I am watching the moon. Good. Go ahead and write that for number one, and make sure you remember your capital and your punctuation. I am watching the moon. I 
and watching is W-A-T-C-H. Watching the moon. That's good. Go and fix it. Good work. It's okay. <laughs> moon, you're doing great. I love that you remembered it was only one moon. Okay, period? Uh, there can't be more than one moon, right? Right. Punctuation? All right, this one I'll just do orally. Specto stellas. Specto stellas. Three inches. Here you go. Specto stellas. Specto stellas. Oh, I know what that means. Uh, I mean, it means I'm watching the stars. I am watching the stars. Excellent. And stellas was more than one star receiving the action. Excellent. Now, this one you're going to write. That one's orally. Orally, right. This is the one you're going to write, this next one, number three. Et lunam et stellas specto. Well, you know specto means. I know what specto means. Mm -hmm. Specto means watch. I'm watching. Good. Now, when you have two ets, et and et, what does that mean? Mm, that means if, if you, uh, by the way, if, if you guys. Uh, Just tell mama. Uh, what does et and et mean? If you have two ets. Then, then, it, then it means that, that one of them has to say both. So both and. Good. Both. So I am watching both. Lunam? Lunam. Lunam, in, lun, lunam pronounced in English means, means moon. Moon and stellas. And, and stellas means star. So in, that means, in what does this mean all together then? All of that means, all that together translated in English says, uh, says, uh, both I am I'm watching both uh, look both both moon the and, moon the moon and wait the you have to add the thes the I, a's and the ands because there uh, aren't it, any it's, it's both it's both uh, I'm watching both uh, um, moon, the moon uh, and the the stars excellent go ahead and write it I am watching both the moon and the stars that was a hard one good work go ahead and write it I am watching. Both the moon. You can do the next line. I gave you double space. Both the moon. The, the moon. And it says et stellas and the stars. All right, so Larson went ahead and finished. We worked through these. And then when you're done, this book has a spot in the back, which I've doggy-eared, and uh, it has all of the answers. So it's really nice. I can come here to lesson 27. I can check all of those, compare them to his answers. And um, yeah, it's just very helpful. So that is it. That's how we do Latin. Larson's now having a break, having some apple cider. It's some apple washy. sauce. Yeah, I'm gonna put it in the freezer so it's nice and cold. So um, yeah, so that's what we do for Latin. I hope that you enjoyed that. And Larson has a special message for you. Make sure that, that, you, that you hit the subscribe button and, and we'll be back with a, with a brand new video on this messy, lovely life. Bye.